a walk? Do Templars really not have authority over mages in Tevinter? What happens if there's blood magic? What do they do? Depends on the Templar. Depends on who's bought their loyalty. What do you do when the authorities can't be trusted to do the right thing? That's how I keep busy. Lucanis, where is he? Standing up to them supposed to work? Let Lucanus go! Don't make us hurt both of you! What's going on? Lucanus? It's not Lucanus, it's the demon! It's taking him over, he's trying to leave! <sighs> Smells like jam and brimstone. Rook, do something! Spite, stop. You're not taking Lucanus through the Alluvium. I could, if you'd move. So you can take him where? Off a cliff, or worse? How did... Rook? Dash? Ah. You... tried to walk through the Alluvium in your sleep. Spite wanted out. I need coffee. You can't just caffeinate your way out of this. It's hard for Spide to take control when I'm awake, so I try to stay awake. You can't just stay awake forever. I think that would kill you. I'll be more careful next time. We have to make Spite understand that he's endangering you. He's Spide. Not learning. He doesn't listen to anyone. Don't worry about it. This won't happen again. And thanks. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. Please do. I need to hear an actual voice now and then. Can't imagine why. I'm starting to dream that I'm a griffin. Squawk.
keep dreaming. It's good to have goals in life. The real dream is getting him to take a nap. So what brings you by? Just curious, really. Wondering what it's like being a Grey Warden. They've always been these legendary warriors living apart from the world. Don't know about that. I spent time with people who were bad right up till they took their vow. How so? Weishaupt is the last stop for the wrong sort. If you're facing prison or worse, you can always join the Grey Wardens and take your chances with the Blight. I've heard about Weishaupt. Never been there. It's a giant fortress and home of the Grey Wardens. It's been standing for as long as anyone remembers. At least since the first Blight. Does it have floating buildings like the lighthouse? No, but things float up from the latrines. Huh. One bunch you hang out with. The wrong sort have their charm. And just how, uh, wrong are the wrong sort? Thieves, brigands, pirates, and the odd murderer now and then. Sounds fun, right up to the murdering. At least now they're murdering Darkspawn. Has your first warden always been... well... A stubborn bastard? One way of putting it? He means well, in his own way. He's old-fashioned. Tradition is everything. Keeps us disciplined. We never deviate from it. He'll have to. Elganon and Gilanine won't play by his rules. If he even believes in them. The man doesn't have much imagination. Even the right sort can be the wrong sort. You don't seem the wrong sort. No one's born a hero. Are you really selling it? It gets better. When Darkspawn threaten a village, when innocent people are in danger, then we swoop in, swords held high, armor gleaming, while a hundred faces look to us for salvation. And they all live to see the sunrise because of what we do. Okay. Now I get it. Best part is the warden fighting alongside you. Maybe they've done some bad things in the past. But after that day, it's different. There's some honor in their life where there wasn't before. Nothing like seeing redemption happen before your eyes. But do people really change deep down? Or do they return to their old ways? Maybe we need a bit of both. When the storm comes, you don't want farmers and florists fighting archdemons. It takes the wrong sort to put the world right. Kinda like us, I suppose. Minus the skeleton butler. I don't know. Manfred the Warden has a ring to it. <laughs> How about we quit while we're ahead? See you around. Care to join me on a visit home? Time for the old grave rituals? Yes, the memorial gardens need tending. It should be peaceful and quite undisturbed. You'd be most welcome company.
I wonder what this is about. Everything's calm. Looks like the candles worked. I... Thank you again for coming. It'll be good to perform the rites of remembrance with another Watcher. <laughs> Excellent. Manfred found his way down. Uh, very good, Manfred. He sounds excited. <laughs> I thought we'd start the rites here. A tableau of the dead, commissioned 173 years ago. I remember this. A visiting Orlesian mage called it the most macabre thing he'd ever seen. Orlesians. Fabulous artists, but no eye for the long run. These lives were flickers against the ages. Precious, fragile, and finite. Now they serve as a warning. Don't linger over long in the gloom. Live with grace and fervor while you may. Good to hear another Watcher say that. It's a common lesson. I like that you're not so grim about it. That one's livelier. Here. Who were you when you breathed above? This body was a tailor's. A mother's. She laughed and taught and wove the robes kings wore when they were crowned. Tchah. Someone must realign her thoracic vertebrae. I hope the novices are inspecting the displays. Being a watcher of the Grand Necropolis should come with standards. I remember it being better kept in my day. Doubtlessly, just the comforting murk of time. You could ask someone down here if it's true. There's a thought. Time to light the candles? If you would. Been a while since I paid homage to our dead. Would you care to light the candle, Rook? Look at this. The last tomb of the Tannhausens. A very influential family in the Storm Age. We broke the bones of dragons. A posthumous motto. Their last heir met his match against a Highland Ravager. Death by dragon? I'm surprised there was enough to bury. Do you know, I never expected that the door we found back in the Vault of the Beloved would lead here. Oh, right. They used to be higher. Did the Necropolis shuffle around his rooms again? It did. We'll have some work ahead, leading people here on the days of public mourning. Could you light the next candle? Aha! One of my favorite flowers! A variegated weeping widower. You know your plants. Oh, alchemy is my hobby. It's a break from teaching spirit calling and theoretical applied metaphysics. That's some advanced necromancy. Well, feel free to browse my books in the lighthouse. I just found a wonderful work on chronological transection in the Fade. This way, Rook. 
That bell did its job. Not a trace of despair, demons. I mean, spirits. It's all right. You've been away from the Watchers a while. Thanks. Everyone outside the Necropolis uses demons instead of spirits all the time. I shan't judge any slips. You'll need to light these candles as well. Open your hearts to the final day, companion of all the ages. You still have the old ritual memorized? Like I said, a Watcher should have some standards. The spirits gather. Only a few more candles. Follow me. Ah, oh, look here! Oh, you're precious. They're always so drawn to necromancers, aren't they? We're also enjoying the gardens, but we've one last ritual ahead. On your way, my friend. Spirits really are your specialty. I've always had a rapport with them. Even as a child, they were my companions. After you started training here? After I was orphaned. Oh. A collapsed building, swift deaths. After the funeral, the Watchers took me in. We're not so different. Watchers discovered me down here as a foundling. I'd heard a mage was found as an infant in the necropolis. Well, I ran around Navarra's streets before my magic called. You settled in better. I needed time. When I first arrived, I was terrified. And you still joined the Watchers? They're what saved me. Come. The next set of graves lies ahead. Please, light the next candles if you would. There's much to recommend about the rhythm of a ceremony. It eases our worst hours. As a boy, the Watcher's rituals were exactly what I needed to steady my days with purpose. If our necropolis teaches us anything, it's to face life and death. I was grateful for it, Rook. Immensely. All this pageantry, this magnificent gloom and its rites, I ask you, Rook, what is it for? Let no Watcher forget that our greatest treasury is our dead. Yes, exactly, exactly. This place is an abundance of history, of magic, of memories. The Watchers preserve it so the living may draw comfort from those who've gone before. We must get to the candle, please, Manfred. I've resurrected simple undead before, but I've never seen a wisp animate a corpse so smoothly. He's taken remarkably well to having a body, haven't you, Manfred? <laughs> Here are the last candles you'll need to light. Once you're ready, we'll need to ring the bell.
Let the rights be acknowledged. Our bonds seen and sealed. We honor the listening spirits. Hail from the abyss. We witness, good watchers, faith kept in all our paths. It's been a while since I saw greater spirits of the necropolis. Those two in particular are amongst our oldest friends. We'll need to ring the bell once more to close out the departing ceremony. So, you were really afraid of this place as a child? It wasn't the necropolis itself, but what was draped around it. Have you ever been frightened by the thought of dying, Rook? Well, hasn't everyone from time to time? When I was younger, it happened more often than that. That's when I discovered I possess a great terror of dying. It goes beyond dread. Can't be reasoned with or soothed over. It comes without warning. In the dead of night. In sunlit streets. A roar. Strangling fear. Struck somewhere deep past the heart. That's an issue for a necromancer. Oddly, I discovered I wasn't alone. I debated this fear with friends. I argued with teachers. Yet, it lingered. Manfred's right. That's maudlin enough. There are struggles, but a watcher should always find peace amongst the graves. And what sort of homecoming would this be for you if we didn't end with some light refreshment. Did you set all this up to make a good impression? Of course not. I was only... Because it's working. Then it's my pleasure to share the tranquility of this place with you.
So, Tosh, you're the dragon hunter of this outfit. Yep. And you do monsters. Seems our work's going to overlap. No, it's not. I handle dragons. You kill monsters. And Darkspawn. Dragons are monsters. What? No, dragons are natural. Been around longer than we have. Darkspawn and monsters are just Vashadon that came later. Fair enough. But I'll handle any archdemons we meet. <sighs> Fine. But I get to help. You seem at home here. Or is it a front? You know something I don't? So much for a straight answer. Nev, you don't strike me as an animal person. Besides cats, maybe. Oh, I'm not. Back home, you find a creature bigger than a cat, and it's probably half demonic. Damned if a third of the cats aren't either. That's nothing like you, is it, Asan? You might be fluff all the way through. <laughs> it was a compliment. Of all the nonsense we've run into, you're what's strange. Asan? Really? There's been a god or two I didn't expect. But bad mages trying to make the world worse, that's not new. I had an uncle who went on about wardens and griffins. Loved the feathered things. They were always the heroes. If we're getting bedtime stories turned real, having griffins in the world again, it's not the one I'd have bet on. Were you close with your uncle? I didn't see him much, but yeah, we were. There aren't a lot of mages in my family, and in a city like Menrathus, it always matters. I learned quick who wanted to use me to step up the social ladder. My uncle wasn't one of them. He'd have talked your ear right off, Asan. You know, you're sweet with him. Aren't I always? I walked into that. <laughs> Sing your praises and you still want something. I'll find you a treat if you don't tell Davrin. Have we got a deal? She doesn't sing praises for just anyone. <laughs> yes, you're very inspiring. Listen up. If Davrin finds crumbs, Rook takes the fall. Oh, I see how it is. With all my regards, oh, but I don't want them to think me homesick. Hi, Emrek. Rook, hello. Uh, just composing a few letters. The other Watchers have been most interested in our adventures. You have more credibility than I do back home. Perhaps. Uh, speaking of home, have we rarely never met around the necropolis before? Even in passing?
Hold on. There was a lecture two years ago. Self-abnegation techniques for sub-astral navigation? Yes, that was me. Right. A professor challenged you, then one of the higher dead broke in and argued with her. And then the wraiths! What a conference that was! I should fulfill my Watcher oaths and ask, any supernatural trouble in Navarra? A gathering of pride spirits down in Cumberland, easily dispelled. And we finally stopped those wandering cenotaphs from appearing in the Weeping Vale. That took some effort. Nothing else, aside from the elven gods disrupting the Fade. And yet... There's so much more than spirits in the Fade. Entities and instrumentalities we know only by their shadows. If you've spotted something in the Fades... I'm not sure. It's only an occasional stillness where movement and light should be. Let's hope I'm imagining things. I miss anything big around the necropolis while I was gone? Caspar I led a stately procession around the wards of his tomb palace. That hasn't happened in 300 years. No one knows what occasioned it. Oh, and necromancers outside the Morn Watch attempted to claim the funerary dead. Again! It's right in the royal charter. Only mortalitasi ascended to the Morn Watch have final authority in the necropolis. I've had to explain the distinction between Mortalitasi and Watchers a dozen times since leaving home. <laughs> but it's simple. Every Navara necromancer is called a Mortalitasi, and some Mortalitasi join the Morn Watch. Done. Exactly. One would think. I couldn't help overhearing the word homesick. Oh, I'm fine. Completely absorbed in our venture. But if I were home, I'd be preparing for new students or requests to speak to the dead. You didn't stop teaching just to be with us, did you? I'm long overdue for a sabbatical. Besides, do you know how many students the faculty wanted in my class next season? Ten! How's one meant to tailor separate lessons for ten pupils at a time? Honestly. Can people just ask you to show up for some corpse whispering? Oh, nothing official. There are very few of us, but we help here and there. Questioning a victim of murder, clearing up disputed wills, and sometimes fetching back last words from a loved one. Have you used corpse whispering on King Marcus? I... Whatever are you talking about? Oh, come on. His Majesty's health is a delicate subject. Besides, the palace necromancers aren't watchers. They've their own corpse whisperer. Ah, oh, so King Marcus is dead. Or undead. Uh, half the nobility must suspect by now. Can you imagine what the other kingdoms would think? I stay well clear of it. Good to chat. I'll let you get back to your letter. Uh, before you go, I wanted to thank you for your company in the Memorial Gardens. There's another ceremony I have to perform there. If you'd like to visit again. Not yet, but soon. You know I can't turn down spending more time with you. How lovely to hear you say so. I'll always be glad to show you around the tombs, my dear. At your pleasure. I'll take you up on that. Wonderful. Until then.
Huh? <laughs> 